children welcome to the online edu class session for class 6 chapter number 2 components of food part 3 today we are going to discuss about the last two components of food these are roughage and water they are last category of the nutrients but not the least okay roughage makes the bulk of our food inside the body and it is very important for digestion and absorption of food although they are not containing any type of nutrients but they help in absorption of the same they help in the prevention of constipation by attracting water molecules which soften the stool and helping in excretion of material from the body all types of excretory material can be expelled out by this we can easily conclude that its deficiency will cause indigestion and improper absorption of the nutrients from the food material it is commonly heard that water is essential for our health so water is the last component but it is very important because it makes up the majority of our body weight and it is involved in many important functions like flushing out the waste material and detoxifying our body through perspiration and urination regulating the body temperature otherwise our body may get very hot in hot weather and too cold in the cold climate it also helps in our brain function it helps in prevention of constipation aids in digestion helps with nutrient absorption improves blood oxygen concentration and circulation therefore most importantly the deficiency will cause all these functions to perform in inefficiently the performance will reduce and most importantly it will cause dehydration and weakness okay so after the components of food we come to the deficiency diseases to due to various nutrients like first we come to carbohydrates and proteins so if a person continues to get low carbohydrate and protein diet for a long period of time then the growth may stop and the body may become very uh, lean and thin and weakened body may not be able to function properly the, the, and this happens when a person is not getting a food only okay they are starving they are not getting any type of food then the body becomes lean and thin they don't get energy to do any work okay so now we come to the deficiency due to protein if a person is taking diet rich in carbohydrates but no proteins are there in their um, diet so the person may have different types of symptoms here you can see a picture can you identify who is it yeah you are right this is a smurf and everyone knows the smurfs are dwarfs but why they are dwarf yes this is because they are not taking their diet rich in proteins at right time in their childhood so they have a stunted growth that's why they are dwarf and swelled face discolored hair and skin problems along with diarrhea all this is so because the protein are required for all the vital activities and cell formation and repair when we take a diet less in protein then cell build up and repair both are reduced greatly and produces these type of problems okay now let's come to next part that that is vitamins and minerals although vitamins help us to shore up our bones heal wounds bolster our immune system they also convert food into energy and repair cellular damage but still if they are not taken in the proper amount so then deficiency of different vitamins and minerals may also result in certain diseases and disorders let's enter into first vitamin that is vitamin a vitamin a is important for many bodily functions including proper vision strong immune system good skin health okay so it plays a very important role in skin repair and helps to fight inflammation 
deficiency of this nutrient can lead to stunted growth of children also inflammatory skin condition also okay a, uh, a person can have rashes type of things okay dry eyes blindness first sign of deficiency is often inability to produce tears okay dry eyes and uh, after this night blindness these are the initial symptoms and after that so many different many more diseases can occur next vitamin is vitamin p deficiency of vitamin b causes beriberi and vitamin b reduces the support deficiency of vitamin b will reduce the support of body's many functions for example cells use b vitamins to generate energy from sugar and other nutrients so without vitamin b the complex vitamins the human body don't function properly they won't be able to function properly at all it is required for healthy skin so deficiency causes very very whose symptoms are like fatigue increased muscle weakness and least energy to do work okay and you can also observe such type of rashes due to ill skin health on uh, hands and other body parts of the patient of beriberi and beriberi is most prominently due to vitamin b1 next vitamin in this category is vitamin c okay vitamin c is most prominent prominently identified by such type of bleeding gums and rotten teeth okay so bleeding gums are due to damaged skin and dry skin which can easily rupture and blood vessels can be exposed as if uh, bleeding can occur very easily it's often one of the first obvious sign of vitamin c deficiency as bleeding gums okay and severe deficiency can even lead to tooth loss wounds heal very slowly in vitamin c deficiency low vitamin c levels are also linked to an increased risk of infections after vitamin c next vitamin is vitamin d vitamin d as you all know it is best obtained from sunlight and vitamin d is involved in bone strength and bone formation so deficiency of vitamin d will cause uh, weak bones okay and because vitamin d helps to absorb calcium and maintains our bones it is extremely important for our bone health and a deficiency can result in weak and brittle bones it is essential for strong bones because it helps the body to use calcium from the diet okay and traditionally if we see then vitamin d deficiency has been associated with rickets rickets means bow legs this type of legs are uh, called rickets in the medical terminology it is a disease in which the bone tissue does not properly mineralize okay and that's why they lead to soft bones and skeletal deformities here you can easily observe that these are the healthy normal bones and these are the weakened bones because the mineralization of calcium and phosphorus was not proper because of less vitamin d in the body so now let's come to the next one which is a uh, close associate of vitamin d or you can call it best friend of vitamin d that is calcium okay calcium is required for all types of uh, bone and muscular development and uh, maintenance of healthy bones and teeth and the top most portion of the teeth that is enamel is uh, formed by calcium which is the hardest part of our body okay so in calcium deficiency the body will keep its calcium level in balance by taking the mineral from our bones and teeth okay that's why whenever the uh, body is taking a, up calcium it forms uh, scars and those scars in at the starting they are not so pain, painful but when the scars deepen they starts to pain and when they reach the nerve portion they pain a lot at that time the people used to have a severe toothache uh, they require to have a surgery also okay and the calcium deficiency can cause muscle ache 
brittle nails, tooth decay, just you saw, numbness, numbness of feet and hands, weak bones and uh, teeth, memory loss as well. Now, next mineral in the same category is iodine. Iodine is very important for the uh, survival of thyroid gland in our body. That's why the deficiency of iodine uh, can be easily visualized as swelling in the front portion of our neck which is called goiter. It occurs when our gl gland is forced to make thyroid hormones when there is low supply of iodine in the body. Okay, low iodine levels also leave our body tired, sluggish and weak because uh, our body needs the mineral to make energy. Low iodine levels may slow down the body functions leading to weight gain also because uh, the carbohydrates and fats are not getting uh, used up by the body that's why it will cause weight gain and iodine deficiency at any age may cause to struggle to learn and remember things. That's why in the, from the childhood only uh, people used to have a good iodine rich diet. And this the importance government has also recognized and made it a mandate to use iodized salt always at all age and for all age groups. Okay, so next category of uh, minerals is now uh, iron. Iron is required for preparation of blood cells. Iron deficiency means ill blood cells. And so, the most common sign of iron deficiency is fatigue. This is due to less, less oxygen reaching body tissues, depriving them of energy. Paleness on the face or nails may be another sign of moderate to severe iron deficiency due to lower levels of blood cells, which gives blood a red color. Shortness of breath will be another symptom because low level of blood cells means blood is body is not getting uh, proper oxygen and uh, oxygen is not getting transported to the muscles and cells are uh, demanding oxygen and so shortness of breath we are breathing faster okay the lack of blood cells means not enough oxygen re reaching the brain as well okay so because uh, because of that it blood vessels swell and create pressure producing headache uh, right? So, if a person starves to eat unusual things like uh, clay, dirt, chalk, paper, ice, etc., then these may be the signs of iron deficiency. Now, we can, in the nutshell, we can uh, just summarize that the deficiency diseases occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period of time. And they can be easily prevented by taking balanced diet also. Okay, if you are taking a proper balanced diet, then we can easily stop all these deficiency diseases. Now, whenever we are eating any type of food material, we should first wash it properly. We should clean it nicely and then only we should use it. If the vegetables and fruits are washed after cutting or peeling, it may result into the loss of some vitamins and minerals because the skins of many vegetables and fruits contains vitamins and minerals. Similarly, repeated washing of rice and pulses may remove some of the vitamins and minerals present over them. Okay, so we should always wash the intact vegetables and fruits and not the cut ones. Also, we all know that cooking improves the taste of food and makes it easier to digest along with killing all the microorganisms uh, present over them. That's why we should always eat cooked food to increase the taste and make it easily digestible. But at the same time, cooking also results in loss of some nutrients. Many useful proteins uh, are lost if excess of water is used during the cooking and then uh, they are thrown away. Uh, 
Vitamin C gets easily destroyed by heat during cooking. So children, here I am handing up the chapter with an expectation that you will be taking a full colorful plate of food every day. Have a balanced diet. Eat healthy. Stay healthy. Stay at home. Bye-bye.